Constant motion refers to any type of motion when either the distance traveled by the object is the same for each second or the speed of the object changes by the same amount each second. Imagine having your hand on the table once every half a second and what that would sound like. Now, now think about taking, taking one step every half a second. If you, if you methodically take one step every half a second, you are moving with a constant speed, one type of constant motion. Constant speed means that you are moving the same distance every second, so your speed does not increase at all. Now imagine tapping the table once during the first second, twice during the next second, three times during the third second, etc. Now, now think, think about, about taking one step during the first second, two steps in the next second, and three steps during the third second, etc. This, this process, process describes, describes another, another type of constant motion, motion. constant acceleration. In, in constant acceleration, your speed increases by the same amount every second. second. So, so if you have one meter per second, second during, during the first second, and two meters per second during the next second, and, and increase of one meter per second, then you, then you must travel three meters per second, four meters per second, and five meters per second during the third, fourth, and fifth seconds, etc. Your constant acceleration is one meter per second per second or meters per second squared. Now, now let's discuss, discuss some examples of constant motion. Let's, let's say that you are driving Interstate I-10 from San Antonio, Antonio to El Paso, Texas. Most, Most of the sections of this path are fairly flat and straight. straight. You, reach you reach a cruising speed of 75 miles per hour when you decide to engage your cruise control. The cruise, the cruise control system keeps the vehicle speed at 75 miles per hour until you hit the brakes or accelerate. While you are using the cruise control, you are moving with constant speed. This table, this table illustrates the distance, distance traveled during a four-hour four trip on cruise control. control. Time, one, one hour. Distance, distance 75 miles. miles. Time, two hours. Distance, distance 150, 150 miles. miles. Time, three, three hours. Distance, distance 225, 225 miles. miles. Time, four, four hours. Distance, distance 300, 300 miles. miles. Based, Based on the table, you travel 75 miles each hour while you are on cruise control. control. That is a total of 300 miles for a four-hour trip on cruise control. This, this is an example of what constant speed data would look like. These, These figures, figures illustrate constant speed using dots. dots. Each, each dot shows the location of the object for each one-second one interval. Figure, figure A represents a slow-moving object since the dots are closer together. Figure B represents a fast-moving object since the dots are farther apart each second. Note, Note that the distance between each dot is the same in each figure. figure. Therefore, the object represented by the dot is moving with constant speed in both cases. These, These figures, figures make up what we call a motion diagram. This position versus time graph illustrates constant speed in a different way. During, During each second, the object moves the same distance. This, this motion diagram shows two types of constant acceleration. acceleration. Figure A shows the object speeding up, which is indicated by the distance between the dots getting bigger every second. And figure B shows the object slowing down, which is noted by the distance between the dots getting smaller every second. Constant acceleration means that the speed of the object increases or decreases by the same amount each second, as illustrated by this time and speed table. In the, in the table, the speed decreases by 10 meters per second every second, which, which means the constant acceleration is negative 10 meters per second per second. This, this graph shows the data in the table plotted as speed versus time. The most, the most important, important example of constant acceleration is the acceleration due to Earth's gravity. Every object near the surface of the Earth experiences the same constant acceleration due to gravity, which is about 10 meters per second per second. That means, that means that any object, object that is dropped or thrown will, will increase its speed by about 10 meters per second for every, every second that it falls. Both, Both of these types of motion, motion occur when you parachute from an airplane. As soon as, as, soon as you jump out of the airplane, you are falling at a rate of about 10 meters per second for each second of the fall. However, when, when the strength of the air resistance is equal to your weight, you reach what is called terminal velocity or terminal speed. When you, when you reach terminal speed, speed you are no longer accelerating, and you, and you fall, fall with the same speed, speed until you deploy, deploy your parachute. parachute. In, In physics, physics, constant motion refers to any type of motion when either the distance traveled by the object is the same for each second or the speed of the object changes by the same amount each second. There are two important types of constant motion, constant speed and constant acceleration. Constant, constant speed means the speed does not change at all for each second, second of the motion. motion. Our, Our example of driving a car on cruise control illustrates constant speed. Constant, constant acceleration means that speed increases by the same constant rate for each second of the motion. We, we illustrated this with our example of someone jumping out of an airplane. In this example, there is constant acceleration until the person reaches terminal speed. 
terminal speed or terminal velocity occurs when the strength of the air resistance is equal to your weight.